My name is Robert. I'm an educator and a student in educational technology. And today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Tour Builder to create custom annotated itineraries for Google Earth that you can use with your students in a variety of different lessons and content areas. This tutorial will take less than five minutes and I will guide you visually step by step on how you can set up an account with Google Tour Builder insert your annotations and media, and then export your finished file into Google Earth. At the end of this video, you'll be able to confidently use this nifty technology tool to bring an extra layer of interactivity and visualization to your existing lessons. I will share some concrete ideas on how you can incorporate this tool into your classroom, with content ideas ranging from history and the social sciences to language arts and the foreign languages. All right, so now let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to go to the Tour Builder website. You can get there by going to tourbuilder.withgoogle.com. And once you're there, you're gonna to need to sign in. If you already have an existing Google account, you can sign in using that. I'm already signed in using my personal account. Uh, this is what I use for email and everything else. If you don't already have an account, you can go ahead and create one. It takes just a couple of minutes. It's very simple to use. And you can use that across all Google products, including Google Tour Builder. All right, so once you've got that set up and you're signed in, you're just gonna click this icon right here that says to create a tour. All right, and so to show you the functional aspects of the website, I'm just gonna create a very simple uh, tour based on our nation's capital. All right, so this is where you give your tour a name. You can make it very simple and straightforward as I have, or you can be creative. And then you're gonna put your name, or in the case of your students, this is where they would put their name. Okay, and then create the tour. Okay, and then this is the interface that you're going to use to start building your itinerary. So you can see the map is already centered on Washington, D.C. And this first screen right here is basically going to be your introduction screen. So this is where you can add an introductory photo. You can put a brief summary of your tour to give your viewers an idea of what's going to be included in the itinerary. Um, but the meat of the itinerary itself is going to be when we start adding locations. So you see this blue icon over here on the left. This is where we can add our first destination. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a very popular uh, stop in Washington, D.C., the Lincoln Memorial. Okay, you see the map automatically centers itself on the Lincoln Memorial. And we're just going to click again over here to add this to our tour. And then right here is where you can add a lot of different materials. So I can add photos and videos using this link right here. For your itinerary, you can add specific months and dates that you may have visited the site. And then down here is where you can add your annotations. Okay, and then over here on the map, you can move around, you can zoom in or zoom out and then once you found the view that you really like you click this blue button right here to lock it into place and when we finish this tour we're going to be exporting into google earth so there's going to be a lot more functionality you're going to be able to really play around with the map um, in many cases there will be 3d um, buildings 3d versions of monuments um, so it's going to be a lot more dynamic than this but for our purposes now we just want to put in the different sites in our itinerary. Um, this is very functional. So again, we're just gonna put in all of our materials. And then in a minute, I'm gonna show you more or less what that looks like once you've exported that into Google Earth. Um, so for this tour, I'm just gonna go ahead and add one more location to our itinerary. And of course, another very famous stop in Washington, DC. We're gonna add the White House. All right, so now that I have a couple of itineraries on my tour, uh, I'm done editing. So I'm gonna click this button over here in the top right. And now is when we're gonna export it into Google Earth. So to do that, you click on this tab over here um, that brings down a pull down menu and you're gonna click on export. Okay, and we're gonna export this into a KML file. That's a special file type that Google uses for Google Earth. 
Okay, and I'm not going to save this tour. You can save this on your computer if you choose. I'm going to go ahead and just open it up straight into Google Earth. All right, so here you have a view of Google Earth. I'm using the desktop version of Google Earth, but Google Tours can also be used within the web-based version of Google Earth. Um, but for this demonstration, I'm going to use the desktop version. So here we have open the sample Washington DC tour that I just created. And here you can see the intro screen. At this point, you would see any photos or videos that you added. As you remember, I didn't add anything to mine, but if you did, this is where you would see yours. Okay, and so then to go to the first site, you just double click it over here on the left hand menu underneath places. So again, at this point, you would see any pictures or videos that you've added to your first location, as well as your annotations down here. All right, and then just to, to go to the next site, you just double click it over here in the left hand menu. And within Google Earth, you can change the view, you can use all of the other functional aspects that are available within uh, Google Earth. Um, so again, the sample tour that I created was very short, very simple, just wanted to go over some of the main and basic functions of Google Tour Builder. But right now I just wanted to show you a student sample that a student created for their trip to Spain. So we're going to fly on over the Atlantic. And again, here's the intro screen. And as you can see, the student added many more sites to their tour. We're just going to double click over here on the first one and zoom into Madrid. Okay, and so for some locations, particularly bigger cities, you get some really cool uh, 3D features that really show the sites and their, their sort of full vibrancy. And again, just to get this screen back, you just click it over here on the left-hand menu. You can see that the student added some extra photos um, as well as their written annotations down here below. Okay, and then again, you just click the next site to fly right to it. And again, here are some photos that the student added and their written annotations down below. In the next edition of this tutorial, I will go over some specific ways that you can use this in your classroom, whether you teach social studies or the foreign languages, with some concrete ideas and some lesson plan ideas for you to use.